Hello everyone, this is Christine and welcome back to my channel. Today is the moment you've all been waiting for. I'm taking a look at Playground Sessions. Now I have not been in touch with Playground Sessions at all. I am using their free trial, which I will link to down below. It is a 30 day trial and you do have to put in a credit card, but once you sign up online, you can go into your account and turn off the recurring payments right away. Today's video is a first impressions video. So if you've watched any of my app videos before, when I try a new app, I typically do it on screen with a first impression impressions video and then later on I do a more comprehensive review once I've had a longer time to spend with the app because I want to be fair in my review. So this is sort of my first time in the app. I actually tried to record this video last week and had troubles with the screen recording software. So I'm recording it over again. But other than that initial recording, I have not spent any time in this app. So I have looked at a few small things that I'm going to take you through today. And we're just going to see what Playground Sessions is all about. Now, the first thing to note is that Playground Sessions was originally designed as an app on your computer. So I'm using the iPad version of the app. And as far as I understand, I don't think it's as comprehensive comprehensive in its features as what's on the computer. But in order to do a kind of an apples to apples comparisons between different apps, I am sticking to the iPad version. So I've already set up an account and I'm logged into the app on my iPad. And I'm just gonna take you through what I'm seeing on the screen here first. So first of all, there is an on-screen keyboard here and you can play it. Since I have my keyboard plugged in and I'm using the MIDI settings here, I can also play a note. Mm. And you can see it lights up on that keyboard on the screen, which is very useful. On the left side, there is a listing of courses. And there are really three main courses, the Rookie Tour, Intermediate Tour, and Advanced Tour. And you can see in the main part of the screen here, I'm looking at the Rookie Tour right now. And you can see there are a lot of lessons in here, some of them based on songs. and others are videos and lessons from the teachers. There are also some other courses around here, mainly focused around specific songs. So you can see it's right around Christmas time, so there's a holiday medley. They have some of the songs in different levels, like kids, intermediate, advanced. And then after the courses, you get into your song listings, and your songs are divided up by level. Now with a subscription to Playground Sessions, you get five free songs to download a month, and then after that, you have to pay, although you get a discount if you're subscribed. You can also use this without being a member and pay for each song individually. A bit different from other piano learning apps is that you do log in online, find and choose the songs that you want to download on the website, on, the web, on a web browser, and then you can come in either to the app on your computer or to the app on your device and download it once you've selected them, which is why you only see one song on my screen right now. Other than the main interface, we have the settings button here, which gives you your account username and email, and then gives you settings of your on-screen keyboard and whether or not you wanna connect one through MIDI, which is what I have going on here. All the other settings here are for that on-screen keyboard. There are playback settings, volume settings for the accompaniment, the metronome, how they count you in, all of that. And then they have a little intro slides here that you can flip through. Pretty simple to use interface. So let's go ahead and dive into the courses. Now, Playground Sessions is well known because Harry Connick Jr. is one of the teachers in the app. Really, he does a couple of video tutorials and explanations. Most of the lessons are taught by David Sides, who I believe is the creator of Playground Sessions. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at this first lesson. You do have to download the lessons individually as you go. And you can always uninstall them if they're taking up too much space. I think they do on your iPad. The first thing I notice when I come here is that this is a video that is 11 minutes and 21 seconds long. And I know from experience and from talking with other piano apps that it's usually best to keep videos to one to two minutes. This is the intro video and it is featuring someone famous. So I'm sure everyone will probably be okay with it, but that is unusual. Hey everybody, I am Harry and I am next to my favorite thing in the whole world. If I could be stranded on an iPad, We'll skip ahead here. Here's a trick to finding middle C. There's a group of two black notes. Okay, so he's teaching us where middle C is. C below two black notes. Always C, yep. Same three notes. So now, in a way, we're all on the same page because what you do, that's all there are seven white notes. Now we have the black notes. There are only five. OK. 
Okay, so he's teaching us where all the keys are, which is good. Positions when I play. Sometimes I might be a little bit higher. Sometimes I might be a little bit lower. Okay, he's talking about posture as well at the keyboard. At the piano. I would also like to explain finger numbers. On the piano, when you see an indication to play your first Okay, finger numbers, that's good. Four, three, two, one. All right. Two, three, four, five. All about finger numbers. Okay. And a little showing off at the end. Okay, so this is a great intro video in the amount of content that it covers. It's quite long, but I would say most of the apps break it down into smaller videos where they put it into one big one. But they cover all the key information that's important at the very beginning when you're starting to learn, which are note names, where they are on the piano, posture and how you should play, and finger numbers. So I would say we're off to a pretty good start here, and of course, using a famous figure will engage people. Next up, let's take a look at one of these lessons. So we have the first lesson here. I had already been in here before, so that's why you see it jump down to number three. Now, again, about the interface here, you have the different pieces of the lesson that come down this page on the left. And when you're in a lesson that you're actually gonna play where you're gonna see sheet music, which I am a big fan of, I prefer the sheet music view rather than scrolling because it more easily transfers to playing sheet music if that's your goal. But when they're showing the music on the screen, that's when the controls at the top come into play. So you can go ahead and play the exercise up here. You can loop it, have the metronome on. I am not sure with these three little people. I've tried to figure out what this is, but I'm not sure. We have the speed indicator, so you can speed or slow down the lesson here. And it shows you what the beats per minute currently is set at, 114. So you can easily just cut the time, the speed in half by using these two buttons here, full speed or half speed. When the lessons start to get more complicated and you're doing right and left hand, right now this is just right hand, you can do uh, left, right, one or the other or both. And then you can also change your notation here. So right now we're showing finger numbers, but you can switch it to note names if you want. You can turn them off altogether. And hopefully we'll figure out what this little lightning symbol means as we go along. It looks like it's not being used right now in the current lesson. Okay, let's go ahead and go through some of this lesson with the main piano teacher for this app. Okay, he's showing his playing off a little bit here. I do like their view of the keys uh, in the lessons. Hi everyone. I'm David and I'm one of the playground Hello, sessions David. teachers that will be helping you throughout the boot camp. Now, just like all the other playground sessions teachers, I've developed a love for playing the piano and I'm very excited for you as you embark on. Now, this is a bit better because the video is only a minute and 43 seconds long. So maybe it's just that intro video that's so long. This new piano journey. Now, so far you've learned about middle C and you've learned about the fingering system. Now, I'm going to show you how to use those to play your very first note in the app and I'm gonna point out some key features in Playground Sessions. Let's jump in. So as you've learned, this is middle C. Okay, so he's gonna take us through middle C, show what that note looks like, show it on the music and in Playground staff. Sessions, you know exactly when you play it right in real time because the note will turn green. And that's all there is to it. Move on to the next segment. Okay. Let's go ahead and play through one of these. One, two, three. Okay, now when you finish a lesson, you can see the kind of results that it gives you. I had green, so it's showing me I had perfect notes, three time points, zero practice points, three session points earned. I don't know what any of that means at this point, but hopefully we'll figure that out along the way. Okay, we can retry it. 
or we'll go ahead and move on. Unlike most of the learning apps out there, which start with middle C and then slowly add all the way up to G, so you have your first five fingers, this app starts with middle C and then immediately adds the next four notes. Personally, I prefer this method because I think it moves a little too slow when you only add one note at a time. Although apps that do that do provide a lot of initial practice. So if you're an absolute beginner, this may overwhelm you, in which case I would say you might wanna try one of those other apps that does it a little more incrementally. But if you tend to initially pick things up quickly like I do, this sort of method may work well for you. So after this video, we can see in the next lesson, we're gonna start practicing these notes. It also gives you a little paragraph above the exercise with little tips and to let you know what you're doing. More practice exercises, which I am a huge fan of. The more you practice, the better you're gonna get. And especially at these beginner levels, learning these things really well and hammering them into your brain is only gonna help you later on. So it looks like the rest of it is exercises. So they give you two videos in this first lesson and then seven exercises to practice them. Now, another thing I wanna point out down here in this keyboard below is that they show you which keys are used in this lesson. And that's something I'm a big fan of and most of the apps don't do. As a matter of fact, I think Musician is the only other app that does this that shows you the keys you're gonna be using in the lesson before you hit play. Okay, let's take a look at one of the other lessons here. I'm just gonna skip ahead and look into the intermediate tour and see what we have. So you can see the way the lessons are titled here, the title is telling you the name of the theory that you're gonna be learning in this lesson. And then underneath that, they have the name of the teacher or the name of a song. So in some cases, it's gonna be videos with a teacher. And in other cases, they're using a specific song to teach you that feature. And then in the third line, it looks like it's either letting you know that it's a video tutorial or which hands you're gonna be using, either left hand, right hand, or both hands. We've already looked at what their video tutorials look like, so let's go ahead and pick a song. I liked Robin Hood. Let's try this root position practice. Okay. Let's continue to practice root position triads by playing through Brian Adams' Everything I Do, I Do It For You. We're gonna start by play the C major and F major triads in root position. So this is a left hand two, practice. They count three, through four, one to four twice, one, which you have to two, remember because it's different from other apps. I had that a little off. <laughs> Better. Okay, this is good because we can see what it looks like when you miss notes. So I got 75%. There weren't a lot of notes there to play. Got some, they, I got it close though. I didn't completely get it wrong. I was just delayed in my timing. So I got 10 practice points, three time points. I got 13 more session points. I don't know what points are for really, but. Now this is a feature that I love about playground sessions and you'll also find it in the app Piano Marvel. And that is that it gives you a recap of what you played once you're done. So it shows you the sheet music and it shows that I missed this, which is why it's red, but I did play it just afterwards. So it shows also the timing of when I played it. And if I completely miss the notes, It shows that on the screen as well. So you can see I completely missed it. It's a dark red and how far off I was when I missed it. So of all the types of feedback that the different piano apps provide, this style is my personal favorite. So it looks like each of these lessons as we go adds another triad or another, makes puts, puts a little more notes on the page to make it a little more difficult for you. So you're working up in difficulty level. We get all the way to the bottom here. I'm just gonna go ahead and see if I can play this. It's been a while since I've done any practicing. <laughs> so we're gonna give it a try. One, two, three, four. One, two, set, go.
Oh, now we're getting into ones I don't know. Okay, not so bad for not really paying attention to what I was about to play. Click OK. And we're going to close this. I'm curious what... Now one thing when you return back to the home screen, at least in the app, it always puts you back on the Rookie Tour main screen. It doesn't return you to where you were, which is a little bit annoying. So this shows I completed one of six. Now I'm curious... I actually did two of them and it doesn't show me kind of which ones that I've done in here. And when I open each lesson, it always goes back to the first page. So, so my assumption here is it's only tracking that I completed the first one because you have to do them in order. So if I did first, the third, and sixth, it's still going to only say I completed one until I do them in order. Which is fine because really it's up to you whether or not you want to complete every lesson or you want to skip ahead to certain things. And so it's nice that you can go to whatever skill you want to learn and you don't have to do this in order if you don't want to. Okay, for fun we're just going to take one last look at a lesson in the advanced tour and then we'll wrap things up. Let's go down to what looks like the last song in advance. I'm just curious how complicated it is. And it's a song I happen to really enjoy, What a Wonderful World by Louis Armstrong. Okay, in this lesson we'll practice playing a broken chord pattern from Louis Armstrong's What a Wonderful World. Let's start by playing the chord shapes that we'll play later as broken chords. So taking a look at this lesson, I would say this is something I'm going to have to work up to. I won't be able to just start right here. But that's good to see because obviously if you're going to pay for a learning app, you want to make sure that it has things you can work on for a long time and work your way up to. You don't want everything to be things that you can just do. And so then it builds up to, then you start doing the left and the right hand, breaks it apart farther, and then it culminates in playing through a two-handed broken chord version of What a Wonderful World. So altogether, there are 93 courses in the Rookie Tour, 62 courses in the Intermediate Tour, and finally 21 courses in the Advanced Tour. And of course, within each of those courses, there is a various number of lessons to teach you that particular piece of theory. So my overall impression is that this is a pretty solid learning app. Even compared to all the learning apps that I've gone through, I like the fact that there's a combination of videos and songs, the fact that it's in a sheet music view, that you get instant feedback, and also you get feedback at the end to summarize how well you've done or what you need to do better on. It looks like there is a good combination of beginner lessons to get you started as well as getting a lot more complicated so you have something to work up through. So those are just my initial impressions of Playground Sessions. Please stay tuned to the channel if you want to see the full review that I'll be doing on this app once I've spent some more time in it. And if you have any questions or feedback or features of Playground Sessions that you love, please comment down below so that I make sure that I try those out. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and that you've found it useful for your piano learning journey. If you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing to the channel, like this video, and if you're interested in further supporting my channel, you can check out this video where I tell you more about how you can do that. Thanks so much for spending your time with me, and we will see you guys next time. Bye!